Hello and welcome to Williams Dog Training Company. We're here today with Chrissy and Jackson and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Jackson's ability to understand and respond to his obedience commands, the corrections and the motivations we give the puppies while we're working with them, and the training equipment that we're using. Chrissy's using a regular six foot web training leash and she'll keep the bulk of that leash folded neatly in her right hand which leaves the left hand free to give the correction. The correction that we give is a tug and let go on the training collar which is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Jackson's been fitted for his very own training collar and we'll go over how to properly take that on and off of him and use it during your one-on-one -on -one training session. You'll notice that Jackson is seated very nicely on Chrissy's left which is where all of our obedience training is done. The first command that we'll demonstrate for you today is healing. Healing is proper walking on a leash. And the command is Jackson heal. You'll notice that Jackson's been trained to walk very nicely on your left at your pace. So there should be no lagging behind or pulling forward. And incorporated into the heel exercise is an automatic sit. So anytime you stop moving your feet, Jackson should be seated nicely on your left waiting for his next command. The next command we'll demonstrate for you is the stay command. The stay is a hand and a voice command. You're going to use the open flat of your left palm an inch or so in front of Jackson's muzzle and the one word firm command to stay. stay. This is a great exercise to help develop his maturity and self-control, so practice this exercise often. Build up his ability to stay in this position for longer periods of time. When Chrissy returns back to Jackson, She'll walk all the way around him, and he should remain seated until he receives praise or another command. We'll run through the heel, the sit, and the stay again for you. It's important that when you're working Jackson through his obedience, you praise him, keep him motivated, let him know he's doing a good job. This should be fun for him, not drudgery. Very good job. This time, instead of returning back to Jackson, Chrissy will demonstrate the recall or the come on command. The command is Jackson come, and he's been trained to come in and sit nicely right in front of you. And then he, he will heel around the back, back to heel position. Very good job. And we'll show that to you again. Okay. He comes in and sits nicely right in front. And then back to heel position. Very good job, Jackson. It's important that you incorporate all of these commands into your daily life, but we also recommend that you set aside about 10 minutes a day to run through the commands in a formal session such as this video, which will keep the commands fresh and will also let Jackson know who is in charge in your household. The next command we'll demonstrate for you is the down command. You're going to use the open flat of your left palm straight down towards the ground and the one word firm command to down. down. Very good job. Just like the sit stay, the down stay is a great exercise to help develop his maturity and self-control, so build up his ability to stay in this position for longer periods of time. When Chrissy returns back to Jackson, she will walk all the way around him and he should rem remain lying down until he receives praise or another command. Very good job. Jackson. We'll show that to you again. Obedience is a great mental exercise for dogs. So even if Jackson gets physical exercise, it's equally important to incorporate the obedience into your day. It will tire him out a lot quicker than any type of physical exercise. So if there's any time during the day, oh, she's, she just gave him a correction, he, he did get up. So we're gonna repeat the command. If there is a time during the day where Jackson is especially excitable, that's when you're gonna wanna put on his equipment and run through the commands. Very good job. It's important that if you give Jackson a command, you follow through, you remain patient, just as Chrissy did. She let him know that he didn't do that correctly and she took him back and started over again. The last command we'll set up for is the down from a distance. Chrissy will leave Jackson in a sit stay. <clears throat> this time she will give him the down command from the end of the training leash. <laughs> He got a little confused, so she's just going to repeat. Very good job. 
sometimes the dogs can anticipate that you're going to give a different command and I think he anticipated her she was going to call him in so she just let him know that that's not what she meant and she did it again and he did a great job we'll show that to you one more time <laughs> oh, now he just wants to be down. <laughs> and heal him out of it and start over. Much better. These are all the formal obedience commands that Jackson has learned while he's been away at school. He's come such a long way since attending our school and we're so very proud of his progress. Please keep us posted on how he's doing once he returns back home to you. It's been a pleasure having him, and thank you so much for choosing Williams Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer.